Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I've heard some things online about electric vehicles being cheaper to drive than gas. And that is kind of true, kind of not true. And today I wanted to go over a couple of the factors of the cost of driving an EV and show you the difference. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna drive my car 100 miles and then recharge it up to 90% using my home's electricity. And then I'm gonna drive it 100 more miles on basically the same route, so there shouldn't be much efficiency differences. And I'm gonna charge it on a DC fast charger station. And I'm gonna show you the difference in the cost between the two. I think you'll be surprised that it really is not cheaper to drive an EV if you use DC fast charging stations. Now there's just a ton of asterisks in that statement because there is different rates across the country. Some companies give you plans where you can buy down the cost of your electricity if you pay a monthly fee. And then some people live in places in the country where their home electricity rates are astronomical. And it's just as expensive to charge at home as it is DC fast charging. My example is going to consist of a pretty cheap home charging rate and a average DC fast charging rate. Not cheap, not crazy expensive, but average. The DC fast charger I'm using just open to the public. It's the first one in my town, so I'm actually pretty stoked about it. Now it's not a crazy fast DC charger, it's only 60 kilowatts and I believe that's artificially limited. I heard a click over here. Ramping up to 60 kilowatts so it's gonna max out at 85 amps for me currently so this is limited to 60 kilowatts so as my car voltage increases the amperage will decrease here so currently we're charging and this is the information we get on my screen it tells me I'm 20 minutes to 80 percent charging at 60 kilowatts and over here on this screen, you can see I'm going to charge to 90%, and it tells me I'm 28 minutes away from 90%. Let's go ahead and hop out and see what the machine back there says. So we are cooking. You can see the battery pack voltage is 740 volts, and we are getting 82 amps at 60.7 kilowatts or at 56%. So here we are basically 80%. We got nine more minutes to 90%. Two or three minutes ago the car's AC compressor ramped up to infinity. You can see now the air conditioner is down to just 800 watts but I didn't look earlier when it was ramped to infinity but it sounded like it had to be running about 5kW because it was pulling some RPMs, that's for sure. We've officially hit 80%. We can hop out and go around to the charger and see what kind of amperage we're pulling. We're probably down to 70 amps. 77.5 amps now and we're up to 783 volts. Still maxing out at 60.6. .6. I don't know if you can hear the AC compressor ramping up, but it's ramping up again. You can see it's because of battery cooling. Over here on the far right side, 1.5 kilowatts is going to battery cooling. So about eight or nine hundred watts is going to cool the cabin but battery cooling is ramping up evidently it doesn't need continuous battery cooling 
to handle 60 kilowatts because like I said it only ramped up for about three to five minutes earlier and then it stopped again but it, it's still ramping up here it's not as high as it was earlier earlier the RPMs was ripping oh it's slowing down you can hear it there it went so battery cooling just shut off and you can see we are up to 86 percent but we're still pulling 60 kilowatts so uh, the car hasn't throttled it's still taking everything the charger can give it and there it is we're done charging Let's go unplug and get out of here. I should just be able to unplug this. It shouldn't be locked. Yep. Forty one point five minutes. Thirty eight point three eighty kilowatt hours. I'm going to get back to the house and I will see you in editor voice land and we'll go over the numbers. So here's the session details for our DC fast charging session. You can see we put in 38.38 kilowatt hours for a cost of $21.11. Now that's pretty steep to go 100 miles. So let's go ahead and flip over now to the level two session and I will show you what it costs to charge at home for the same amount of miles. So now here's the charging session for when I went 100 miles but I charged at home. You can see it cost me $2.85 and we put in 40.7 kilowatt hours. Now that did take a bit longer at 5 hours and 47 minutes. And since I have an Ionic 5 that has the crappy charge port, if you know about that problem, that's a huge ordeal. My car kept overheating. You can see these little spikes here where it just drops. And then you can see I tried to lower the amperage to continue my charging session and then it drops again. So that is an ongoing issue with the Ionic 5, but that didn't affect our experiment here. So you can see it did cost $2.85 to recharge 40.7 kilowatt hours. Let's go ahead and throw them up here next to each other so you can see the difference. So here's the two charging sessions right next to each other so you can see the difference. It is quite the difference. Charging at home, $2.85. Charging out at the DC fast charger, $21.11. That is actually way more expensive than what a gas car would have been to travel the same trip. So if you take a car that's similar to the Ionic 5, we'll just say the Ford Escape, and we'll say it's getting 30 miles per gallon. Well, if we drive 100 miles in that car with today's gasoline national average, it would be $12.60. It technically is not cheaper to drive an EV than it is to drive a gas car if you are using this DC fast charger here at 55 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, if you're charging at home, which mine is uh, seven cents per kilowatt hour, that makes the difference right there, $2.85. So thanks for watching this little example today, and I will see y'all in the next video.